I know my weekly vlog series came out to a great start when I skipped the second episode, but uh, it was only because I was sick the entire weekend and I kind of didn't feel like doing anything yesterday, much less talk to the camera and feel funny. Not that I'm feeling terribly funny right now. Angry Birds, man, what a great franchise. I don't even play the game. I don't own a phone that I could play it because, uh, well, let's not get into that. Well, actually, let's get into that. I don't want to own a smartphone ever because I drop my phone uh, like on an average of three times a day to the floor with an amount of force from a height that would probably break the smartphone screen and render it useless and like blow fucking hundreds of euros out of my pocket every time it happens. That doesn't make sense. But anyway, this is what happens tomorrow. You see that shit? Scott Kelly, USA. Yeah, America. Scott Kelly is Scott Kelly from New Rosas. And here's the tragic story. I've been waiting for this moment again for three and a half years because, all right, three and a half years uh, in June 2009, uh, I was supposed to go see Scott perform a solo show in Helsinki the previous time he was here to do that. Um, I'd purchased the ticket months in advance because I was immediate. I was like, oh my god, this can't be happening. This is probably the first and last time he'll ever be here. So I immediately purchased the ticket. And, and the, on the day this happened, I arrived at the venue a couple of hours early with my friend. And uh, I gave my ticket to the guy at the door. And he was like, all right. And he asked for my ID. And I was like, oh shit, god. You know, I, I left my ID in my coat, which is at home. And he was just like, sorry, I can't let you through. I was like, come on. I'm the biggest fan here tonight. Yeah, I've been fucking waiting for this for months, and I'll probably never get this opportunity again. And he was like, well, if you're such a big fan, why don't you just go home and get your ID and come back? He doesn't start playing in a couple of hours. And uh, then I tried to explain to him that I live, if I take the train home now, uh, oh shit, water's boiling, BRB. Master shit! Fuck. So as I was, I'm hiding my spice selection of four or five different spices, and this one's actually empty. It's never actually. What the fuck? It's always been empty. There's not a trace of anything in here. So and this is a great fucking. What a great shot. We are be there in one second. So. As I was saying, uh, back then it would have taken me an hour to get back home and uh, to get my shit from home. And but trains back to Helsinki left at such sparse intervals that I would never have made it back in time. So I just said, "Fuck it, I guess, fuck it." And so I took the train back home, and I just sat there listening to Scott Kelly from my MP3 player. All I've never been. I've probably I've probably been sadder than that. But that was a moment where I was I was so disappointed at everything at life, and I was so sad. And now this year, uh, my opportunity has come again to go say hi to Scott and check out his awesome solo act. I've seen him twice before, uh, once with Neurosis and once with Shrine Builder, both in Helsinki. 2009 and 2011 and this is gonna rock I'm going there with a friend who's also a big fan of Scott Kelly we always listen to him at work and while drinking beer and crying ourselves to sleep so it's gonna be fucking great uh, what else well not much else actually really I'm definitely looking forward to this tomorrow oh yeah and uh, mother world <laughs> mother world once again tried to stop me from seeing the man of my life uh, by throwing me a bout of fever, but I think I have successfully came over that now. And, uh, well, that being said, fucking knock on wood. I'll probably die tomorrow or something before I reach the venue, but... <laughs> Anyways, uh, take, take later, guys. Take care and later. That's the cool way of saying take care and later. Take later. That's what my apartment sounds like.